Hello everyone, this is Anna. Welcome to Anne's Booktube, Refuge for Bibliophiles. In this video, I am going to review the book, The Land of the Living by Nikki French. So Nikki French is a husband-wife duo who write psychological thrillers and like all uh, other books by Nikki French, this book is also a psychological thriller in which the protagonist of the book, Abby, finds herself ad abducted by a man and she is held captive and she is blindfolded and her hands are tied. She tries to escape the situation and she, uh, she is able to do so and while she is recovering at the hospital, she tries to explain to everyone about the ordeal and the things that she went through while she was abducted. The police cooperates as well, but they are in, unable to trace the person who tried to abduct her. So this girl, Abby, she tries to uh, find the person who abducted her and is the cause and is the and is the cause uh, of and is as it, and is the root root cause of all of this situation. So uh, she, she she suffers a loss of memory as well. She cannot remember who are the person, who are the people she is acquainted with, or uh, where she worked, or who the pe people she met few days before her abduction. So she has a loss of memory as well. But despite that, she tries to find her abductor, and it so happens in the later half of this book that uh, one of her acquaintance also got, gets abducted and people assume that the person who were acquainted with both of them is the person who is responsible for their abstraction, abduction. So whether that is the case or not, we will find in the book as we read along. But this is the gist of the book and this is a very nice book. The writing is very uh, nice and uh, one would find themselves gliding through the writing as they read the book but uh, although this book has been marketed as a psychological thriller i didn't see much element of mystery in this book i would consider this book as a filler read that you would read between two difficult heavy books but despite that the writing is right one would feel as if they are gliding through this book as they are reading it. So I would read the synopsis. Abby Devrox wakes in the dark. She is hooded, bound at her hands and feet. She doesn't know where she is or how she got there. A man she never sees feeds her and talks to her. He promises to keep her alive for now but says he will kill her like the others. But the Abby has spirit, strength, and bloody-mindedness on her side. She counts the seconds she is alone, tells herself stories, remembers her life, talks to her captor, and plots her survival. Above all, she dreams of returning to normal, careless everyday life, the land of the living. Among her memories are a horrible horribly stressful career and a disintegrating relationship with her boyfriend Terry. Could there be a connection between her real life and the voice in the darkness? And how can she survive in a place where fear becomes madness and the effort to survive seems too much to bear? So this is the synopsis of the book. I would also like to read the first two paragraphs of this book which goes like so. Darkness darkness for a long time open my eyes and close open and close the same darkness inside darkness outside i had been dreaming tossed around in a black dark sea stalked out on a mountain in the night an animal i couldn't see sniffed and snuffled around me i felt a wet nose on my skin when you know you are dreaming you wake up sometimes you wake into another dream but when you wake and nothing changes, that's, that must be reality. Darkness and things out there in darkness, pain. It was far away from her and then closer to her and then part of her. 
part of me. I was filled to the brim with hot liquid pain. Although the darkness remained, I could see I could see the pain. Flashes of yellow and red and blue. Fireworks exploding silently behind my eyes. So this is the first two paragraphs of the book. As you can already see that the writing is very flowy, very uh, uh, very elegant and beautiful. So the writing style of the book is quite nice but the only uh, issue with this book is that although it has been marketed as a psychological thriller there is very little element of mystery in this book overall this book is nice and if you want to read a book between two heavy books you might consider reading this book so this was all about the book land of the living by nikki french hope you would like the book i would like to give this book a four out of five stars as i quite enjoyed this book despite uh, they're not being much uh, mis uh, mystery element in the book but still i would uh, rate it uh, give it a four out of five stars this book was quite enjoyable so this is all about the book i hope you like the review to see more such review uh, on books please consider subscribing to my channel i would come up with more such book related videos until then wish you a happy reading and goodbye